Okay, let's make plastic mug. Let's model this exercise. P high density plastic thousand kg per kg per cubic meter. Okay. All dimensions are in millimeter. All unspecified fillets are five millimeter. Okay. We have here two view. Uh, see, there is one front view and there is one section view. Okay. So first we will make outer body. You will see this is thin one millimeter and uh, the bottom diameter 59 then these diameter 69 10 millimeter height and you will see there is an angle 10 10 100 degree okay total length of this mug 110 and this distance from here to here 95 and uh, if you check there is a step 2 millimeter but this is 1 millimeter thickness so we are going to subtract one total 80 uh, sorry 91 91 1 millimeter subtract from here one another side so initially we will keep 89 then we will add this one okay 2 millimeter 1 millimeter and you will see here this uh, flange thickness 25 16 3 millimeter <coughs> front plane sketch now I am going to select uh, line little keep taper exit now make this line construction line A smart dimension distance from here to if you keep cursor outside it will show you diameter inside radius keep outside 59 now this one 69 height 10 millimeter and this one diameter 91 minus 2 89 okay let's make total length 110 okay now distance from here to here 95 okay now this is the only balance select this one and uh, this angle 100 degree look it seems fully defined okay let's act okay and activate here offset entities make one millimeter select chain and select this one now see this is going outside so select here reverse cap and lines if you uncheck this one this is not going to show any cap so if you check cap see you will see here cap okay but this line I need is straight so delete this line okay and here also I am going to ex extend this line and connect with this now select this line and this line parallel similarly this line and this line parallel dimension from here to here 2 millimeter now this one one millimeter okay trim entity keep power trim and drag and delete this and delete this see we have a close geometry okay again activate line tool connect exit now make important relation select these two parallel okay now make this one horizontal this is also make horizontal okay there is a one perpendicular relation 
so delete all now apply horizontal okay is smart dimension थ्री मिलीमीटर बट द वर्टिकल लेंथ ट्वेंटी फाइव टेक इट डाउन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम टॉप टू हियर सिक्सटीन मिलीमीटर ओके revolve boss base feature now here axis of revolution i am going to choose this one now uncheck thin feature keep angle 360 degree blind any one direction see 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 the direction now here we have to choose selected contour because we have more than one close profile let's say this one and there is one more this one see okay See, look, sixteen twenty-five and three millimeter. This is what we created, and here also one millimeter, two millimeter. Okay, this all done. Let's make this one. Now, this one we are going to create with the help of looped feature. So, look for looped. We need close profiles and uh, guide path. Also, we will create. See, this is the profile thirty-five four at this end. You will see dotted line. Forty millimeter bottom, fifteen. Thickness four, okay. Angle C sixteen, forty, and center distance fifty. This is important. And this guide, I am talking about this guide curve, R fifteen. Remember this. This is important. First, I am going to choose right plane, a sketch, corner rectangle. Draw a center line. Draw center line from here to connect with origin exit. Now, not center, just mid line. Select this line, vertical. Let's check its smart dimension. Thirty-five millimeter. Look, it seems fully defined sketch. Exit. and go to feature and here drop down curve and choose a split line now i want to project this on this face so here choose type of split projection sketch now let me select this face single direction now see the arrow go reverse so connect reverse direction say okay now here see now the this face is split Okay, we need this one. Now, right plane. No, front plane. Is sketch. Now let me create path. So, line. Go back to the line. Exit. Make this line construction line smart dimension fifteen. Now this one from here origin or center okay delete. Now there is one relation tangent relation delete this relation okay now apply. Dimension from here to origin center fifty. Let me draw center line. A smart dimension. Now distance from here to this is face forty. Okay. Now angle. Sixteen degree. look this is fully defined sketch see exit now i want to create a plane select this line and select the end point 
see the plane is going to create on the uh, perpendicular to this line you will see here perpendicular line and point now select plane 1 sketch corner rectangle smart dimension now according to drawing 15 thickness 4 millimeter okay now select the midpoint of this keep this one inside see this yellow point this is the midpoint of this hold shift key select this line and here choose make peers look it seems fully defined let me select isometric view exit click and hide now see we have two profile and a path just go to feature uh, looped boss base feature now here we need to choose to close profile so i'm going to select first this one another let me select i'm going to select this end point because this is the node okay now you will see preview this is something going like going like this look but here i'm going to choose guided curve now select this guided curve now uh, i'm not going to keep any uh, options or directions i am going to keep simple merge tangent faces show merge result you will see the preview okay and see now this corner have radius r5 r9 and see r5 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 inside missing but this is also r5 okay that's fine fillet constant type fillet and here choose symmetric 9 millimeter radius and i'm going to select this end okay fillet now this time i'm going to choose 5 millimeter constant type fillet and i'm going to select this all edges and inside edge also we need to choose say okay okay see now right click material edit material this is a pe high so go to plastic pe high density how much density we need thousand this is 952 okay Okay, let's go with 952. Apply, close. Now color you can change it. You go to appearance. Okay. Now just choose front plane, section view, normal view. Okay. Now see the preview. This is how we create a simple mug don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects inside works thanks for watching